Welcome to Echo Habs for Earth. We replaced our old inefficient hog mini split with a new efficient model from Signature Solar. They claim it will run off the grid, off of solar, or both. But we're going to put this to the test with a power meter. We're going to see exactly how efficient this unit is. You're going to be astonished at the results, so please watch all the way to the end. And if you like this type of content, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. All right, these are pretty easy to operate. On the back, there's a standard outlet. So this gets plugged into your power source, which is in our case, just a plug on the wall. So we have an extension cord here. We're gonna plug that in. And right off the bat, it'll show us that we have about 120 volts. Now here, we're gonna plug in our AC unit. So this is the EG4 mini split with the solar panels turned off. Now we're gonna go down and turn it on, put it on 68 degrees, let it run for five minutes, and we'll come back and see what our power reading is. What a challenging test we have going on here. It's noon, so the sun's at the optimum angle for our solar panels, but it's totally clouded over. So let's have a look at these results. All our measurements are done. With our original unit, it uses 1200 watts during these conditions. Switching on the EG4, just on the grid, no solar panels, that drops to only 530 watts. Now when we add in the hybrid feature and put a plug in the solar panels, we get a mere two and a half watts of power required to run this unit. That's just amazing. Now, is that real? I think we should do some more tests. Let's take a look at our four solar panels. We can hook these up one at a time and test one through four solar panels to see how many panels it really takes to drive them. So with one panel, we get the same result that we got with no panel. It takes 530 watts of juice from the grid. So I think this means that one panel is not enough to kick in the hybrid mode of the unit. All right, but as soon as we add two panels, that drops to only 160 watts of power needed. Three panels, an astonishing 2.8 watts is all that's required. And with four panels, the unit ran on just two and a half watts from the grid. That's really outstanding. In terms of savings over our older unit, that amounts to 56% using either, you know, just the grid mode of the new unit. 70% if we have two panels on, 99% if we're using three panels, and an astonishing 99.8% with all four panels connected. This is just, just phenomenal. I mean, we're really excited by these results. At this point, we decided to pull the plug entirely and run the EG4 on pure solar. The result? The unit fired right up with a nice blast of cold air and cooled the space down very quickly. It even works with the heat on with just four solar panels and no grid. Okay, what a great experiment. We learned one solar panel is not enough to fire it up here at our location. We get some cost savings with two solar panels and complete 100% on solar with three or four solar panels at noon. That's really awesome. We're gonna leave it hooked up to four to cover us during the earlier and later parts of the day, but this is a really exciting and a really unexpected result. Completely free air conditioning on solar. It's possible. We're doing it right now.